Welcome to the Clarity 16.1.2 Feature Supportability Training. This is Denise Saladay. As part of this training, I'll be covering Audit. We've added a couple enhancements to the Audit Trail data. First, we added four new attributes that will assist with auditing and tracking data. And we also modified the population for about a handful of existing attributes. And secondly, we modified support for the audit module. For investments, we are now supporting financial audit information. And last, in the audit module, we're displaying audit data for level three sub-objects. So why are these changes important? Governance is an increasingly high priority for our customers, and we wanted to give them an easy mechanism to view their financials audit data directly under their investments in the audit module. Additionally, we wanted to provide support for third-level sub-object data in the module. And secondly, we wanted customers to be able to better track their audit data with the four new attributes that we're providing. Um, they'll be able to see the relationships between parents and grandchildren in a better way. So next, let's explore some of these changes that we've done in more depth. We added four new attributes to the audit trail data. We added record ID, parent ID, and grandparent ID, as well as the grandparent attribute. These attributes will help you track your audit data more clearly. There were also some changes made to the population of some existing attributes, namely the record and the parent. Because we've introduced a record ID, now we can reserve the record for names instead of IDs. And in some of this data, we previously were not populating the parent value, and you can see that now we are. The biggest change was to the cost plan details. Before, we were only populating in the record attribute the internal plan ID, which was hard to reference and figure out what the audit data related to and after the changes that we made this release we've changed that record value to be your plan grouping attributes and any detailed road description should you have one. The last enhancement we made was to the audit module. In this module we're now displaying financial audit data for cost plans, Cost plan details, budget plans, budget plan details, benefit plan, and benefit plan details. Additionally, we enhance the module to display level three sub-object audit data. And that will be for both out-of-the-box sub-objects and custom sub-objects. One thing that's important to note are th these data elements that we added to the audit module were already supported in administration on the audit tile. Next, I'll give a demonstration on how to view the four new audit data attributes that we delivered this release. I will also look at the two enhancements that we made to the audit module to display the financial audit data for investments and level three subobject audit data. Next, I will demonstrate the changes that we made to audit. First, let's navigate to the audit. In the audit trail data, we added the four new attributes for record ID, parent ID, grandparent, and grandparent ID. You can see that these values are populated in the audit trail here. We also made some modifications to about a handful of attributes where we're populating the data. The type of change that we made is under the record, 
Occasionally we were showing the ID and not the name, but now that we have a record ID attribute, we can display the record ID there and place the name in the record. Next, I'll demonstrate the enhancements that we made to the audit module. And we'll use the digital banking project and navigate to audit. For investments in their audit module, we added support for financial plan data. And you can see an example here for benefit plans and cost plans. Cost plan detail is also an example of one of the data population things that we changed on the record. So previous to the upgrade, the record used to have the ID field. But now that we've added the record ID attribute, we're showing the ID but under the record, we're showing the plan grouping as well as any description that's defined on any detail rows that your plan may or may not have. To demonstrate the support that we now have in the audit module for third level sub objects, both custom and out of the box, we'll take a look at it, the audit module for a different project, e-commerce portal. Analysis report is an example of a third level custom subobject, and you can see that our new attributes for record ID, parent ID, grandparent, and grandparent ID are all populated. There's also an example on this project for assignment, which is a third level out of the box subobject, and you can see that that data is populated as well for this third level subobject. And you can see that uh, the grandparent is the project. And that ends the demonstration for this topic. And this concludes the supportability training for audit. Thank you.